Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what prep missions you need to do and what prep missions you do not need to do. All right. These are going to be in regard to the optional, obviously, uh, prep missions because there are some that you can absolutely skip and there are some that you need to do to make sure that you are successful. So you can save some time and then you can also make sure that you're going to be able to make some cash by doing the right ones. Okay. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and make sure you turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Okay. So we're going to go by approach. All right. And first approach is going to be silent and sneaky. This is the second whiteboard right here. This is going to be your prep whiteboard. And it'll have not only what you need to do, which will be mandatory, those are all going to be identified by the yellow post-it with the black asterisk on it. And those are ones that you have to do or you cannot continue on. And then in the right column, it says optional. Those are all in blue writing, right? So and you have several different optional prep missions that you can do. For the silent and sneaky, Let's put our focus to the center right of the board and we'll start with the approach specific preps, okay? First up is the EMP device. Let me go ahead and first off tell you, the EMP device is not needed. You do not have to have it to be successful with the silent and sneaky. And the silent and sneaky approach, as long as you are true with your aim and getting good headshots, you don't have to pop an EMP to get through this. However, the EMP does make things easier, okay? Again, though, it is not needed. You can be very successful repeatedly over and over and over again without using the EMP device, all right? Now, maybe the first couple of times you attempt this, yeah, I would definitely recommend that just to kind of get through. But you don't want to have to waste time in these prep missions because if you do the EMP device, you are now going to have to do the infiltration suits because those suits will give you the night vision goggles, the NVGs. So if you do the EMP device, you need to also do the infiltration suits. Uh, so those two preps are pretty much com you know linked and they are hand in hand. Moving on down to the bottom of the screen here, you have the patrol routes. Now the patrol routes are something that I do recommend, especially if you are a beginning and a intermediate player at the heists. These will definitely come in handy because it will show you where the enemy NPCs are moving on the map. Now, again, with all of these, the more and more that you complete these heists, the more comfortable you get with them. The patrol routes may be not going to be needed, but it is one of the more important prep missions. So I do recommend completing the patrol routes. The Duggan shipments. I do recommend that you complete the Duggan shipments prep for Silent and Sneaky because to be efficient with in regard to time to money management, you need to do the Duggan shipments because that will reduce the enemy NPC armor, particularly their bulletproof helmets because you need to get clean headshots. Now I have proven it before, you do not need the Duggan shipments to be successful. You can complete Silent and Sneaky without them but it is much more difficult and time to money ratio, it is not worth it. So yes, for the silent and sneaky approach, complete the Duggan shipments. Now the security intel is a little bit uh, confusing for a lot of people. Some people still have this locked. You need to basically be the host of the Miss Baker casino missions. Then you'll be able to unlock this. Then once you do it one time, it'll always be done. And it shows the camera locations. So that's important. Okay. Uh, so do that. You know, most people already own a penthouse. Most people do have done the, the Baker missions, but if not, that's what you need to do. Okay. And uh, once it's done, it's done for all approaches. You'll never have to worry about it again. Moving on to the power drills. They are not required to complete the heist. The power drills just allow you to drill into the safety deposit boxes. Now this requires, or this kind of um, depends on a few things. It depends not only on how many people you have in your heist crew, it also depends on your target. For example, if you have two people and you have artwork, those two people will be able to get all of the paintings and you will have time left over to use the power drills to access these safety deposit boxes. If you have two people but you have gold, more than likely you're not going to be able to use the power drills because it takes too much time to get the gold. All right. Now, if you have more than two people, three or four, then that's a possibility. 
Okay, however, the safety deposit boxes are not guaranteed to have anything in them. As a matter of fact, I have used the power drill on the safety deposit boxes and there was nothing inside. So again, not needed, but if you want to maximize, then maybe that's something that you can get. All right, but no, it is not needed to complete these heists. The last one, but definitely not least, are the security passes. The security pass uh, optional prep has two different uh, routes that you could choose. You could choose just the, the security level one or security level two. Security level two is indicated by a split screen. As you see right there, there's a uh, there's the valley at the podium and there's a blackjack dealer. That is something that you need to do for every single approach. Mandatory, okay? Let's move on. The big con. The big con is uh, probably the most popular, uh, and definitely the easiest approach, all right? And of course, you have the mandatory to do preps, and then you also have the optional preps. Okay, and the big con is easily uh, done with the almost almost minimum amount of everything. All right, so yes, do all the uh, the mandatory ones. You can't move on without it. And speaking of the mandatory prep work, let's take a look at the entry disguise. You have three options. You have the bug stars, which is like the, the pest control. You have a maintenance one. Then you have the casino vault security guards. That is called group sex gear. You need to do that for every time you do the big con. The group sex allows you to enter the casino vault as a security guard. So you're right there. You just walk right in. It saves you a tremendous amount of time. Okay, let's look on down below and it says uh, your noose gear or your firefighter. That's another part of the, the exit disguise right there. As long as you have done the scavenger hunt where you pick up all 54 playing cards, you do not have to choose noose gear or the firefighter gear. It will automatically give you the high roller outfits. So please get that scavenger hunt done. There's tons of videos on how to do those. Then you will never have to worry about choosing new skier or the fireman's outfits as your exit disguise because you will already have free, done for you because you did the scavenger hunt, high roller outfits, okay? Now, next up are we have, are gonna be the patrol routes. For the big con, doing the group sex, you do not need the patrol routes for really any of this on the big con approach. The patrol routes are not going to be needed as long as you do the group sex, all right? The group sex will allow you to walk right in. You are disguised. The guards don't see you as a threat. And you will start to understand that there's only two people, two NPC enemies that you have to pass, not even kill them, just pass on your exit. So you truly do not need the patrol routes on this one. Uh, there's no need for them. Duggan shipments, again, for this one, you are not fighting anybody. You do not need the Duggan shipments. Now, again, maybe the first or second try, that may be a good idea. But once you get the hang of the big con, you won't need any of that. So don't worry about the Duggan shipments. Same with the security intel as before. As long as you do the Baker missions, that'll be a one and done thing. You'll be good to go. Don't have to worry about it. Again, with the power drills, it depends on not only your target, but how many people you have with you and your crew as well, but not mandatory. All right. And then, yes, level two security pass is definitely needed for all of them. Now, moving on to the aggressive approach. All right. Again, Got to do the mandatory preps, which are all signified by a asterisk with, on the post-it note that's attached to the bottom right corner of the screen. And then you got the approach specific preps. If you look at those, you have the reinforced armor and the boring machine. The reinforced armor is something I 100% recommend. You need to have that. Now, again, you don't have to, but it is going to be extremely difficult without it. And honestly, it's just not worth it. It would only be something that you would skip if you were wanting to complete some kind of just personal challenge, right? But yes, absolutely get the reinforced armor. The reinforced armor gives you basically double the green health on your character. It's like the heavy heist combat vests and the original heist when you wore those. It slows you down, uh, but you can absorb a lot more damage. The boring machine is bugged out as of right now. You do not need to use that because on the aggressive approach, your entrance is always going to be the sewer. You want to pick the sewer. 
for some reason the boring machine it just it just bugged out if you do that mission or not it does not matter the sewer entrance will always be available to you as long as you have scoped it out as a point of interest or a point of entry all right so again boring machine is not needed going on down to the bottom the patrol routes for the aggressive you don't need you are running and gunning it does not matter where they are as long as they are in front of the barrel of your weapon you're good to go all right dug in shipments yes i would recommend the dug in shipments for this it does make it easier however again i've proved it time and time again you do not need the dug in shipments as long as you have the reinforced armor you can take out the enemies even with the cheapest gunmen selected the power drills again just simply depends on the amount of people you have and your targets but it's not needed and then yes level two security passes you need to get so there you have it it's quite simple and pretty easy the more you do these heists the less prep work you'll have to do and like i was saying you know a few of these approaches you don't really need to do a lot of the prep work you can get these done pretty easy so you know take your time with it do what you feel comfortable doing but challenge yourself at the same time and see if you can maximize your time to income ratio because skipping some of these prep work missions will tremendously improve that time to income ratio all right thank you so much for coming out make sure you subscribe to my channel for the ills and reals content in the game smash i mean smash that like button and you guys stay dangerous in the next one peace out yeah